What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ryan Myers Expeditions. Today we've got something a little bit different for you. This is going to be my top five ways to kind of become a more advanced diver. You guys may notice we got the new merch going on right now. We're testing out some different color combinations right now, some different shirt materials, some different designs, and we promise we're going to get them out eventually here. So let's get started with number five. Now, as a beginner diver, you're just kind of diving wherever you are, wherever you can. You're not looking for those kind of better spots. And that's gonna be kind of that big difference as you go from that beginner to an advanced diver is you start to be more selective about where you're diving. You work harder to get off the beaten path. You walk a little further, drive a little further, swim a little further, whatever it is that you've gotta do to find those little bit better spots you do. And that's so important for you to get out there and find those better fish. You also start to really watch the weather so you can know which type of spots you can dive during which type of conditions to get the actual best benefit out of your time out there in the water. And number four is you start to dive with regular dive buddies. As a beginner, honestly, you'll just dive with whoever will take you. You'll dive with anybody, even maybe you dive alone. And as you become more of that advanced diver, you start to get a little pickier. You start to build a crew. And as you build that crew, you guys all learn together. You pass on each other's knowledge and, and you get to really watch each other's back and then feel comfortable doing those little bit deeper dives, those little bit longer dives, and hunting those little bit smarter fish. And tip number three is you become more confident in your equipment. You are 100% sure in every single piece of gear that you use. You never have a problem with your mask. Your mask never leaks. You never get blisters on your feet. You don't need necessarily the best equipment in the world. You don't need the most expensive, but you have equipment that works for you. You know how to repair it. You know how to fix it. You know exactly how it works. And that is, again, another huge difference between your beginner and your advanced diver. So tip number two for going from a beginner to an advanced diver is you're really becoming comfortable pushing your limits. And I say this all the time to you guys, to get better, to get to become that diver that you want to see, that to do those two and a half, three minute dives that you guys see me do, you need to push it. And you understand as a more advanced diver that you only can push it during certain times. You can only push it when you have the best buddies there watching you. When you tap your buddy on the shoulder and you're like, yo, I'm going to go deep, watch me. And you know that 100% of his focus is on you. So you are able to push it in the safest possible manner and but get better. And that pushing it, guys, is so key to push your limits, find out where they are, and get a little bit better, a little bit deeper, a little bit longer, and shoot those higher quality fish. And the number one tip, guys, for going from a beginner to an advanced diver is becoming a lot more selective in what you shoot. As an advanced diver, you're out there, you've spearfished a lot. You know that you don't need to come home with a fish. It's not always about shooting a trophy. You can go out there, you can pick out exactly what you want on the reef. You're confident in passing on those oohoos if that's not what you're here for today. You're confident that if you wait for that fish to give you another pass, you know you can get a better shot and have a much less chance of wounding that fish or letting it escape. You know that there's a lot of stuff out there on the reef to choose from. You can dive another day so you don't have to take everything that you can. You can just take what you need, take it home, feed your friends and family because if you're a pro, you know that you're gonna dive a lot and you've got to be out there and you've got to practice. And those are just all really important tips to go from a beginner diver to an advanced diver in your spearfishing career. Guys, if you like these shorter style of really just pure information videos, let us know down below. Leave a like if you like this. We have so much more coming for you. I promise we're going to get some great underwater footage here coming up this week. Right now, I've got to go feed a lot of hungry kittens, and we'll see you next time right here on Ryan Myers Expeditions.